Hey guys, uh, so in this tutorial, I want to show you guys how uh, filtering works in Pandas. Uh, so let's get started. So I have uh, Pandas imported, and then I'm going to use this for higher vehicle FHV active. So this data set is, uh, it's a free data set, so you can find this in, um, when you Google it, uh, NYC data, and then you go to this website, open data, open data dot city of New York dot US. And then you click on this data tab and then once you go to most popular data you are going to see a bunch of data sets uh, so one of these data sets are um, one of this data set is uh, for higher vehicle FHV active I think I have um, I've uh, downloaded this one or um, it could be this one so let's go with this one first um, and then once you get here uh, there are multiple ways to download this data set and you also have a, a preview here um, so it kind of shows it this way whether it's um, I'm gonna zoom in a bit so that you can sort of see it clearly um, you have like active status vehicle license number name of the person who owns the um, FHV license so um, that's just a preview, right? So I, I think, yeah, most likely this is the data set that we're going to be working with. Uh, but even though it's the other one, uh, but the, the columns are pretty much the same. So if you want to download this data set, you can sort of export it and then click CSV. And then um, this uh, automatically starts downloading the data set for you. Anyway, now that you have an idea of uh, how to download the data, let's get to it. So I'm going to use the read.csv method to uh, upload the data or to read the data. And then um, this, is just, um, this is just a command we use to see all the columns uh, in pandas. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to do uh, df.head. This uh, sort of shows uh, the column names uh, this way because there are um, there are a bunch of space in between column names. So what we want to do here is that we want to um, replace those space with um, with this uh, un underscore, and then we want to have uh, like the lower version, like the name. We are going to uh, uh, make it lowercase. So once we do that, and then we do df.head, and then it's uh, uh, it provides this sort of nice names for us to work with. So uh, as you can see, there are a bunch of columns. There's active, vehicle license, name, license type, expression date, uh, and then um, DMB license plate number, uh, vehicle year, base number, um, all right, so going back to our uh, main topic, which is filtering. So let's say we want to filter this data set by vehicle years, right? So um, so what we are going to do here is that we're going to say dot df dot uh, vehicle year. Okay, so the, here's how we're going to do it. So we're going to say df dot vehicle year equal to 0, 1, 5. So this is a condition, right? We are going to put this condition within, um, a, uh, within this uh, bracket, right? And then we're going to um, put df uh, to the left of it. So here what we are saying is that we have this data frame and then what we are what we want is that we want uh, uh, the column vehicle year to be uh, we want all the data uh, uh, in this vehicle year where uh, the value is 2015 and if we do uh, dot head it's going to provide us with the output of uh, the result as you can see uh, all, pretty much all the uh, pretty much all the value says 15 so if you want to take uh, the value count you could do like value dot counts 
uh, actually you want to take the value count of vehicle year so in that case you are going to have to do it this way so that's how it shows right so we have like 11,264 values of 2015 and if uh, let's say we don't filter by 15 if we do df dot uh, vehicle year and then we do value counts that provides us with a bunch of more um, years with their counts okay uh, okay so uh, that's the first thing now let's say we have uh, we want to filter by two uh, uh, condition right we have uh, let's say this license type uh, as for for higher vehicle actually I think that's the only type for this data set because uh, let's take a look df dot li license type value counts yeah that's that's the only uh type here we are going to have to pick a different category let's see if we can find some okay so there is base type that is promising so let's see uh base type base type base type base type right so there are um three different categories within this column all right so let's say we want to have a uh, base category as black car and we want uh, all those uh, base type where uh, category where the value is uh, black car and all the vehicles um, and all the licenses where the vehicle year is 2015 and how do we do that so we could um, we could have two condition right we need uh, clearly two condition one is df dot vehicle um, year equals 2015 and then we need another condition where we would say df dot base type equal black car right I'm just gonna get rid of these craps because we don't want them now in order to have it as if we want the value of vehicle year equal 15 and we want the value of base type equal black car we are going to have to put like an end sign in between and if we do that now let's say we uh, assign the the output of this conditioning uh, to temp. Now if I do temp dot uh, vehicle year value counts, and then temp dot uh, base type value counts, so we get exactly what we are looking for. We get a data frame where um, the vehicle year is 2015 and then a black car is um, and the base type is black car now what if we want uh, something like uh, what if we want all the rows where a vehicle year is 2015 or base type is black car so in for that in that case we can use this um, this uh, pipe character right uh, that symbolizes uh, R so if we do that uh, now if I do vehicle year we might see some more values some other values in 2015 so let's take a look yeah as as we as I have uh, said we have a bunch more values here so here if we take the uh, if we take one of couple of values here we would see that uh, the way it says here the so so for example here right in this row um, the vehicle is either prison 15 or base step is black so one of this conditioning has to comply in order for this row to uh, to exist here which is this one right the ba here it says the ba base type is car and then and this sort of goes on so that's 
pretty much how you sort of filter um, based on the value of a column. Now let's say uh, let's say you want to filter based on uh, some some word. Let's say you wanna let's say you want to see uh, you want to see everyone that uh, where a name has some the word Michael. So let's say uh, I'm gonna get rid of this couple of these lines here. All right. So uh, okay, as I was saying, so I'm gonna do df dot head, and uh, let's say I want to look at some of the values uh, where uh, let's say I want the all I want all the names uh, where uh, na this name consists something like. Uh, uh, I don't know, like, um, let's say Muhammad, or, or actually, let's say, um, let's find something more common, like Michael, right? So in order to do that, uh, we could do like name dot, actually, Muhammad is probably more common. Let's look at that, right? So in order to do that, we could do, um, so we are we have our data frame and then we uh, look at the name which is a series then we say dot uh, I think stir and then dot contains so here you'd say Mohammed and this should return all the rows where uh, the name uh, consists of the word uh, Mohammed if I do head on this and voila you could see uh, you see there are so many Mohammeds here and if you want to take count of this to see how many Mohammeds are there that's almost 1100 all right so let's see if we could find some more stuff to do uh, uh, so one more thing let's say if we want all the names that doesn't contain Mohammed, right? So let's say you want the reverse of this thing. And uh, so what you need to do is just uh, plug in this asterisk. Uh, I, I, I think this tilde, that's the character I think this is called. Anyway, so you plug in this guy here and this uh, literally gives you the reverse of this conditioning so you are uh, not going to find Muhammad anywhere here uh, which is basically what this uh, this condition is saying all right so that's pretty much what I have uh, for this tutorial tutorial I don't want this one to get too long at the moment but I'll catch up with you guys on a different tutorial thanks